Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to update Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to show you both the desktop application and also the mobile app um, application as well. So if you do find this useful, you know what to do. And with all that said, let's jump on over to the desktop. Okay, so here I am just within the desktop um, for Microsoft PowerPoint. And this is really simple to do. So the first thing that we actually had to do is head over to the file section in the top left hand corner here. Um, and then from here, we're going to go down to account. From the account section, you'll have this little option just here called update options. From that drop down, you have the ability to basically check for um, any updates to the application. Um, now, if you don't see this, you might first of all have to actually enable um, the update functions. Uh, and once you've up enabled the updates, you can then actually click on the update now button. So I'm just going to give that a, a quick click. This is going to give you this dialog box where it's going to be downloading or, and checking first of all, and then downloading your updates for Microsoft um, Office or, or Microsoft 365 in the case of my subscription. And um, it's then going to basically just download those and install them. Um, and it may ask us to basically X out of all of the applications uh, whilst it installs them. So let's just run through this process and I might fast forward this video just to get things going at pace. Okay, so once um, it's basically downloaded the updates and before it will go ahead and actually install them, it's going to ask you to save your work before continuing. So the second that we click this continue button, it will actually close all the applications for you and then install. So you want to make sure that if you have any unsaved work that you save that now. Um, but in the case of everything that I work on, I tend to put everything into uh, SharePoint and then synchronize it so that other documents are live um, so no saving would be required. So I'm just going to click on continue but you guys will want to just check to make sure that your documents are saved before you continue. I'm just going to click continue and now it's going to apply all of the updates to the applications um, and close them off, update them and then reopen those applications. This may take a couple of minutes so I will check back with you when that's done. And there we go, guys. So now we have uh, effectively installed um, the new updates for Microsoft PowerPoint, along with all the other Microsoft 365 applications that I have installed. They've all been updated. Um, so that would include things like uh, Outlook, Excel, Word, um, PowerPoint, obviously, uh, OneNote, etc. They've all been updated all via this one um, function that we actually navigated through via um, Microsoft PowerPoint. With that done, we can just close that dialog box and that is it, guys. It is as simple as that to go ahead and update your Microsoft PowerPoint um, desktop application to um, the latest versions. Now, what I'm going to do is just hop over to my iPhone here and I'm going to show you how to do this um, via this particular screen as well. Okay, so with the iOS um, iPhone that I have here, what I'm going to do is actually just navigate to the App Store and then click on my avatar in the top right hand corner. Um, from here, I can now scroll down and I can see all of the various different applications that I have installed. Um, and then I can check for any updates just by pulling it down and we can see that Facebook needs an update, etc. And I can just go through this. So OneDrive needs an update. Um, etc. and I can update them accordingly. Now that's method one. The other way of doing it is to actually do a search for um, PowerPoint. Um, and just click that and now this here would also say an update if, um, if there was actually an update required for PowerPoint and then I can update this app directly here um, in the same way that I know that a OneDrive um, app requires an update, I can search for their app in question. And if it says an update is required, you will have this update button appear on the screen and you can just go ahead and click 
on that um, and it will download the updated version straight to your phone. Um, and with that done, you can just hop back over to the desktop and you can see that it is installing there uh, on my iPhone. Um, and once that's done, it's ready to use. Um, and that's it guys. Uh, if you found this useful, you know what to do and I'll catch you guys in the next video.